Michael Michalski's latest creations for Ariel. He's a perfectionist and checks every last detail. He wants these summer outfits to be wearable and easy to care for. Michalski even steps in front of the camera himself to advertise his wares. I think it makes much more sense for a detergent manufacturer like Ariel to work together with a designer, rather than some actress or film star or something like that. After all, with my team, I create things every day that have to be taken care of somewhere. That's really part of our thought process, and it gives the whole thing credibility. If the designer doesn't know how to wash something, who should know? The collection comprises seven items of clothing for the modern woman's everyday life. For example, a pantsuit for the office, Bermudas for shopping, a jersey dress for going out. For his own label, Michalski also designs elegant clothes for real people in the real world. He himself prefers wearing tennis shoes and jeans. There's a false kind of elitism in fashion. People try to make things for a tiny group of consumers. That's not how I see myself. I see myself as a designer of practical clothing. In the 1990s, Michalski made a name for himself as head designer for Adidas. He helped turn the sport article manufacturer with a frumpy image into a cool lifestyle brand. He found inspiration on the city streets. Streetwear fashion with the three stripes even found its way into the music scene. Pop stars like Elton John, Madonna, and Robbie Williams wear Adidas. Michel Michalski also helped the Munich company MCM make a fashion comeback. The designer gave the dusty luxury label a new look by combining some of the brand's classic elements from the 1980s with new trends. Retro elements are always important for me. They're like a reference to the past, just like a lot of good new music today is created with samples from the past. I mean, today every pop star does that. He uses samples to create something new. And I think we have to do that in fashion, especially when you want to underscore that a brand has a past. Then he created his own label, Michalski, and presented his first collection in 2007 with a show in Berlin. He set out to conquer the world of fashion. Fellow designers like Wolfgang Jörg were delighted. Critics celebrated him as the new prodigy of the German fashion world. I don't really pay much attention to the press. Of course, I'm very happy about the praise, but those are the opinions of a few individuals. What is really important for me, and what makes this one of the best days in my life, is that I have made a dream come true, a dream I've cherished since I was 14. The Michalski label has indeed been a great success. The designer has opened two shops in Berlin. His vision is to turn his fashion label into a lifestyle empire. When you sit down and say, I'm proud of this and that, then you get lazy. You've finished with your life a bit. And I have the feeling that my brand and I are still at the beginning. Well, perhaps not quite the beginning. Michalski's fashion is already sold all over the world. <laughs>